What's something you look for in your pitching wedge? I want the ability to feel like I hit that really crispy low spinner. You know, when I hit it, I don't want to look up and see that ball in this window when I know that it should be in this window. It's going to land exactly how I want and stop where I want. Feedback is a very important part of our role as club designers and club fitters. It's the PJ Tour. It's the LPJ Tour. It's the European Tour. These players are great about vocalizing their wants and the things that they don't want, and that is really the, the beginning process of what inspires us to do our best work. What's most important for me with the wedges is the gaps for the distances. One of the biggest teaching elements that Bob has ever taught me is to truly understand what your players need, what they're looking for, you have to ask questions. Is there a miss that you tend to want to lean towards? I need to know that if I do X technique with X club, it's going to come out this high and it's going to spin this much, or else it's impossible to pick a club. You prefer to see right to left, left to right? I do like to play kind of a right to left ball flight, and being able to be more aggressive with that 130 number, that just is only going to make it easier. When I look down, it looks like, all right, man, I can do whatever I want with this, and it has workability. That's like number one for me. So looks and feels are working hand in hand. Yeah, exactly. Something about looking down at it gives you confidence. There's like a big part of that with golfers because we're all crazy. That's flush. That sounds so good. I like that. Could this club be better in a bunker? Could it be better around the greens? Are you seeing the ground height? Are you getting the speed? Those are the little things that allow me to go home create something different, bring it back out and test it again. And then we come up with a model or a prototype, and that prototype is then brought back out to tour. We test it against the player's gamers. We get a deeper understanding as to what they're looking for once again. And ultimately, if you find something that works really well, and it's gone from one bag to two bags to 10 bags, we got a winning combination of what we're gonna do next. Obviously, with the previous lines being so good, you don't want to really change much. That's all I'm looking for, minor improvements, incremental improvements. You know, it makes a hard game a little easier. That was pretty good. Oh my god. Soft shot. So soft. Oh. That made me really happy. It's so important to be good inside 120 yards, 25 yards. I mean, the wedges are where you make your birdies, what you save your bars with. Going through the ground really nicely. The spin's been super consistent. It's definitely checked all the boxes. It's a cycle. Better wedges make better players, and better players make better wedges.